Hello folks, the old sergeant here. Welcome. Yesterday, actor Vic Minanya put out another great tweet. I'd like to read it to you. My desire has always been to show appreciation, warmth, and acceptance to fans of my work. Being part of this community has given both my work and my life so much meaning. If anyone has been made uncomfortable by me, it's not for me to contradict them. It's impossible for me to discern another person's boundaries. I regret anything I have said or done out of ignorance that has put anybody outside of their comfort zone. I love my work dearly as well as the characters I've been privileged to portray. But most satisfying of all has been the opportunity to share that love of this art form with fans all around the world. I would never have met any of you without it. Meeting each of you has so enriched my life, and I'm humbled to have received over a thousand encouraging messages in the last few weeks. To my colleagues, I have considered you good friends for so many years. We've shared countless wonderful experiences together, and I never meant to do anything to offend or hurt you. Until these last few weeks, I had no idea that any animosity even existed. I've never had anything but respect for you, and I so deeply regret my words or actions that made any one of you feel otherwise. In many respects, life is about course correction and growth. So many fans have written me over the years about very personal issues and struggles, and I've always done my best to encourage and support them. The truth is that I am just as susceptible to struggles and difficulties as anyone. I have identified areas in which I need growth and am taking this time to recommit to God and seeking the help of a counselor. I am committed to putting every effort into improving not only myself, but everyone I interact with. Each of you deserves nothing less. Finally, please be kind to one another. The very last thing I want for anyone to be hatefully targeted, especially not in my behalf. Most sincerely, Vic McNanya. Folks, this was a targeted attack against an individual. This is a left-wing Salalinsky attack by the book. You notice that it all happened all at once. All of a sudden, all these allegations, which when investigated, looking in individual detail, are nothing. There's nothing there. He hugs somebody. Oh, my God. All these voice actors that said that they were his friend. You see all the tweets. You see all the videos saying, this guy's a wonderful guy to work with, right up to the end. This last tweet of his shows the measure of the man. It shows his heart. It shows him trying to do everything he can based on his Christian beliefs that somehow it was his fault. And he's doing everything is he can to alleviate it and to move past this. He may be able to, but all the rest of us see is a mean-spirited, nasty attack against a Christian. And that's what this is. It was an operation to take down a Christian man, a prominent Christian man, so that everybody knows don't you dare cross us. Don't you dare cross the social justice warrior communist leftists. And the top targets are always going to be Christians. That's why he was attacked. That's why these so-called leftist co-workers of him piled on. 
All you hear about is the allegations, but when you look into it, you find out nothing. There's nothing there. Everybody, the best we can do for Vic now is just to pray for him and pray for the people that did the attacking of him that God will open their hearts up to the realization of what they have done. Pray that Funimation and Rooster Teeth, the management there, understands what they have done. Folks, I'm, I'm really worried that it's not going to happen only to Vic, but it's going to happen to more and more Christians where they're going to be targeted and they're going to use the Salolinsky method of targeting them and taking them down. As always, folks, stay vigilant.